In this video I'm going to show you how you can create your own hidden service in the dark web inside a virtual machine. You can find all the commands used in the video description down below. This video is for educational purposes only. Please do not break the law and stay with the rules within your country. Thank you. A hidden service refers to a server that hosts a website or provides a web service but is accessible only through a specific network that ensures privacy and anonymity such as the Tor network. The Tor network is the most widely recognized platform for hosting hidden services. Hidden services allow both the people visiting the websites and the entities operating them to remain anonymous. This is achieved by routing the traffic through multiple layers of encryption and across various nodes in the Tor network, making it difficult to trace the origin of the traffic or determine the physical location of the server. Websites hosted as hidden services have unique addresses that end in .onion. These addresses are generated based on an ED25516 elliptic curve public key of the server, ensuring that they are almost impossible to predict or forge. Tor v3 addresses are 56 characters long and always end with a D, due to the algorithm used to create them. More on that in my video about the theory behind Tor addresses. While hidden services are notorious for hosting illegal content due to their anonymous nature, they also serve legitimate privacy-centric purposes. They are used for secure communication, whistleblower platforms such as SecureDrop, privacy-focused web browsing and in countries where censorship is rampant to bypass government controls and surveillance. To bypass government controls and surveillance. These are enough reasons to create one of them by ourselves. The whole hidden service application will run inside a virtual machine that I've named hidden service. This is due to security reasons and to prevent potential malware from infecting the host system. To use the network, we need to install Tor and the Tor browser launcher application. We do this by entering the command sudo apt install dash y to say yes to all questions from the terminal, tor and tor browser dash launcher. After everything has been downloaded and installed successfully, we create a directory for the hidden service using the command mkdir. We name this directory hidden. We cd into this directory and start a simple python server from there using the command python dash m http dot server dash dash bind 127.0.0.1.8080. After that we run a simple HTTP server on our local host at port 8080. Afterwards we open the terminal window cd into the directory hidden and create an index.html file where we print a greeting message for the visitor. This is the landing page of our rudimentary hidden service application. I simply place some HTML tags at the beginning and at the end of the file and set the text hello YouTube in between them. With Ctrl and S I save our changes and with Ctrl and X I quit the file. To check whether our server is already available and running on our local machine, I open the Firefox browser and visit the URL 127.0.0.1 colon 8080. As you can see, we have access to our application. But how do we make a hidden service out of it that can be accessed via the Tor network? Well, we only have to edit the so-called Tor C file, which is located at etc tor tor c. We open this tor configuration file with nano and search for the two lines hidden service dir and hidden service port. We uncomment these two lines and only make some changes to the second one. We change the port 80 to the port 8080 we've previously used to start our python server. That's it. Now we have to save our changes with ctrl and s and exit the file with Ctrl and X. We now use the command sudo tor to start our hidden service. Wait a few seconds and if you see this message, you know that everything worked. 
the service is now already available on the dark web. But what is the address? Well, we can find it in the folder we've just uncommented in the torc file. To access this location, we have to become root by using the command sudo su. Afterwards, we cd into the directory var lib tor hidden underscore service. Use ls to display what's inside this directory. As you can see, we have a public key and a private key, both generated using the ED25516 elliptic curve algorithm. On top of that, we can see a file called hostname where the .onion address is stored. We cat this file and copy the onion address. Now we start the Tor browser and enter the copied onion address into the URL bar. After a few seconds, we are connected to our hidden service that simply displays the message Hello YouTube. Of course, we can make this application as complex as we want. If you have any questions, feel free to write them in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.